Hi, uh, my name is Oktai. Uh, welcome to today's video. This will be, video will not be about science or technology, it will be about uh, Turkish culture. And in Turkey, there are Turk, uh, sayings, these are called Atasuzleri. And in this video, I will give you a few examples uh, to give you insight into the uh, mentality of uh, Turkish people and into Turkish culture as an example of Oriental culture. Uh, this is a map of Turkey. Um, its population is almost the same as Germany, with 85 million people. Germany is 83 million people. Uh, but Turkey is a huge country and it has uh, more than double the size of Germany. Uh, the biggest cities are Istanbul, yeah, uh, with 16 million people. Uh, the capital of Ankara with 6 million people and the city of Izmir at the west coast. Uh, with 3 million people. Um, Turkey is a multi-ethnic uh, country. The biggest uh, minority are Kurds, with about 20% of the population. Uh, but there are many more uh, minorities, for example, Arabs, Armenians, Greeks, Jews, and Roma, and many more. And um, even among the Kurds, there is uh, more diversity in uh, religion and also in language. This is uh, one big difference uh, between Oriental countries and Western countries. Um, the median age in Turkey is much lower than uh, typical European countries with just 33 years. For example, Germany is 45 years. But uh, this uh, median age is slowly increasing and it's approaching the numbers of the European countries. And in Turkey, there are no states, uh, but 81 provinces. And there's an alphabetic uh, numbering system, which is also used for the license plates of uh, vehicles. And in this system, the capital of Ankara has the number 06, Istanbul has the number 34, and Izmir has the number 35. Uh, my parents are, came as immigrants from the province of Elazığ uh, with the number 23. They came uh, to Germany. Uh, these are the most famous animals in Turkey. That's at the left, the Angora cat, um, with some of them have odd eyes. And at the right, that's the Kangal Shepherd, Kangal Shepherd dog. And he's a, a very big and a powerful dog. He's about the size, size of a wolf, and he's able to fight uh, wolves. And he's also an intelligent uh, dog. He knows uh, where to uh, stand um, to protect the sheep from the wolves. Uh, this is a Turkish saying that um, is about uh, wolves. It says, Aç kurt aslanı saldırır, which means uh, the hungry wolf attacks the lion. Uh, this is a saying about desperation. Um, people in uh, desperate situations um, and more to make uh, bad decisions. And I think this, uh, uh, this is still uh, very important today uh, to understand. Uh, this is uh, one uh, saying about um, death and mourning, which means you cannot die with the dead. This is um, the way we mourn. Um, every person during his life uh, will be faced uh, with the death of um, a friend or a loved one, but you can't uh, let the mourning uh, overpower your life. That's what this uh, saying is about. This is another Turkish saying, it is Ayağını yorganına göret uzat which means stretch your feet according to your blanket. Uh, this is about uh, limits. Um, this doesn't say that you have, uh, don't, uh, shouldn't be uh, ambitious, you should have ambitions, that's okay. But you should also understand the limits. For example, engineers should be able to understand the limits of physics. This is another saying of Turkish culture. Araba devrilince yol gösteren çok olur. Many show the way after the car is flipped, flipped over. The saying is about uh, late wisdom. Uh, when the problem is there and uh, everything is obvious, then many people will show, uh, uh, show, try to show the way, but uh, that's actually not really wisdom. Wisdom is when you uh, have the solution when the problem is, uh, is there. This is another uh, Turkish saying, Bilmemek değil, öğrenmemek ya ayıptır, which means not knowing is not a shame, not learning is. 
uh, we all um, nobody is perfect and learning is a lifelong experience and uh, you should not you should not be afraid uh, of learning you should be open to learning there's another saying uh, this is about bad shortcuts shortcuts uh, meaning uh, the devil interferes with uh, rushed things um, if you do uh, things uh, right uh, you shouldn't take uh, bad shortcuts you should take your time and uh, do it right that's what this is about there's another saying the golden key opens every door this is about uh, privilege uh, yes uh, people have uh, some some people have a head start but I think you can uh, compensate uh, most of it uh, with effort. There's another saying, uh, which means the mouse knows the hole it came out of. This is about essentials. Uh, the mouse has to know the holes uh, because it is essential for her survival. There's another saying, damle um, which means uh, drop by drop it becomes a lake, it flows away and becomes a flood. This is a two-parted saying. And the first part is the same idea as in the French saying, uh, petit à petit l'oiseau fait son nid, which means uh, little by little the bird makes its, its nest. Uh, many little steps are required for, uh, as contribution to uh, something big. And the second part, it flows away and becomes a flood, uh, it describes the processes in nature, like um, changing, evolving, or, for example, aging of life, and that's uh, what the second part is about. This is one saying about marriage. Avrat var evi apar, avrat var evi kar. One wife builds a home, one wife wrecks a home. And I personally <laughs> uh, don't, um, don't fully agree with this uh, saying. I think if uh, the wife wrecks her home, in uh, most cases uh, it has something to do with the husband, right? Now this is another saying, uh, uh, If you annoy a bee, you get stung. That's the same idea as um, don't poke the bear. It's about uh, bad decisions. This is um, one saying that involves a bear. Which says, Ach ayo in a mass, uh, the hungry bear does not dance. Uh, this is the um, basic idea of capitalism. You hear this all the time in the media. Uh, each time someone uh, proposes something uh, useful, um, somebody immediately asks uh, who's going to pay for it. And I'm absolutely not uh, against uh, capitalism. Uh, it's, um, I don't think that's a, a sin to uh, trying to uh, earn money. But in my opinion, uh, some uh, basic needs of uh, people should be kept out of the um, your, uh, profit and money-making system. Uh, like, for example, supply with water, or, uh, public health care, public education, public transport. Yeah, that's my personal opinion. Uh, this is another super important uh, saying, super important idea. Which means, open your eye or they will open your eye. This is about having an open mind. Uh, if you're faced with a complex problem, try to understand the entire problem. Don't ignore facts and don't ignore uh, aspects of the problem just because you don't like them. Uh, and if you have an open mind, then you have a better chance of finding uh, the right answer to a difficult question. That's what this is about. And there are two more um, quotes that I really like that are not Turkish that I have included in this video. This is one of it. Uh, I'm a, I like uh, watching NBA games. Uh, most people in Germany like um, soccer, but I like NBA. And this is from uh, Kevin Durant quote uh, to his mom, you're the real MVP. I really like this quote. Uh, all moms are MVPs, right? And in German, there's a, a similar saying, which says, uh, das Beste, das man Kind geben kann, sind schöne Erinnerungen, which means uh, the best that you can give to a child um, is uh, nice memories. And uh, I agree with that uh, 100%. And uh, I will give a short explanation in Turkish. That Kevin um, Durant basketballcu, Unli basketballcu, and their lawyer MVP Sachildi. 
Ve 10 dakika konuşmasında arkadaşlarına, şey, öğretmenlerine teşekkür etti. En sonunda annesine teşekkür etti. Dedi, esas MVP yani esas en değerli oyuncu sensin. Annesi sevincinde ağladı. Almanca'da buna benzer bir sözlük var. Bu da işte, bu da onun anlamı. Bir çocuğa en değerli verebileceğin şey güzel hatıralardır. Ve bence bu yüzde yüz doğru. Uh, yeah, you can, uh, this uh, speech of Kevin Durant is still available in uh, YouTube. You can check it out if you have, haven't seen it. It's uh, very nice. And this is another important quote. Um, it's from Albert Einstein about World War III. Uh, I know not uh, was with what weapons World War III will be fought, but World War IV will be fought with sticks and stones. Uh, in a World War III, there can't be any winners. There can only be losers. And uh, Albert Einstein proves that he has understand that. Uh, when I did the research for this video, I found this uh, beautiful picture of a uh, painting of the artist Boris Krustudiev. Uh, the title is uh, Merchant's Wife at Tea, from 1918. And it's considered his, uh, as his best uh, work. Uh, the artist has uh, very well captured the atmosphere of this um, scene. And I don't think that this needs uh, uh, much more explanation. It's uh, really a beautiful uh, painting. And uh, uh, what do you think? Uh, will the merchant's wife uh, wreck her own? I don't think so. Um, that was today's video. I wanted to give you an insight into Turkish um, culture and thinking mentality. Uh, thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.